Welcome to Nahal Buhanah Dungeon Master. Welcome to our new steward. Your mission is to obey my orders and satisfy my needs. On the spot, the trial period is short. There is no summer internship for pimply faced students, and it's a real evil dungeon. So it's pretty much if you ever played Dungeon Keeper, the one that you slap people around, is something like that. Please know that the dungeon in a blood demo does not have a safe feature. Of course it doesn't. Why would it? Rehearsing manical laughter. Yeah, sometimes you really do need to de de uh, rehearse that shit. Subscribe to dungeons and despots. Composting interns. <laughs> Composting interns. Busting onions. Unions. Ah, unions, yes. Preparing the pre-meeting meeting. Ah, oh, fucking hate it when people are preparing the pre-meeting meeting. Ordering malevolence for dummies. Feeding the trolls. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. All valid points to do. And there is a chicken right now. Evil chicken! Evil! Oh shit. Pour the lava! Fucking troll trying to enter our dungeon. Hello? Just fucking just join my empire! One. Damn, that's a nice castle. Jesus, that's a humongous castle. Yeah. The dungeon of Nazareth is one of the crown jewels of the lands of Fang. Huh, that's funny. I never heard of it when I was studying for my bitter warlock sidekick certification. Um, public relations are tough for independent dungeons. Oh, aren't you affiliated with the Dungeons Fund? With those unscrupulous parasites? Never. <clears throat> But we do have the most insidious traps, the most cunning guards, the most dreadful monsters, and the most remarkable treasures. How delightful. May I look around? No, uh, we, we've been renovating. The uh, paint's still wet. Ah, uh, too bad. Despite our reputation being well established, I've decided that this dungeon needs to take things to the next level. Yes, yes, the ad made that very clear. And I need more time for my magical research. Certainly. So, about my compensation, I... <coughs> well, let's not quibble over trifles. I'm aligned with industry norms. Not to mention there's the gratification of joining a renowned wizard. Yes, of course. May I meet the other members of the team? Well, actually, not today. They're attending a seminar for process uh, improvement you know what i mean process the clock is ticking and you're not the only applicant what's your decision this is a once in a lifetime offer i'm interested not like i have a choice anyway no one's hiring half goblins there's too much discrimination in this sector all right i'm in perfect perfect you made the right choice and now yes get to work you wretch I don't pay people to stand around. Uh, yes, master. All right, let's see. Where is the dungeon stuff? What state are the premises in? I'll have a look around the property. <laughs> I wonder if signing this contract was such a good idea. Well, you always look at the contract first. Ooh. Oh. Nice. Yeah, looks nice, looks nice. Then to rotate the camera. Q or E. Yeah, sure. Zoom in directly with the scroll. Yeah, of course. To the dungeon of Nebla. The dungeon has been in a poor state for too long. Your mission is to restore it. In other words, make it profitable. Yeah, makes sense. As you can see, his reputation is currently at 1. Where is the reputation? Oh, right there. Your goal is to improve it and make it the most feared... Crappy dungeon, yeah. Most feared and attractive dungeon in the land of FNAC. Fang Nak. Alexander the Master. <laughs> yeah, well, you're gonna find him, eh? Just a fucking giant wizard somewhere around here. Zagnard is another master of the dungeon. When his patience grudge reaches zero, it's game over. I ate well, I'm in good shape, I'm all clean, I feel so much lighter, I'm motivated. Okay. You're a cunt. Select Revax, the stewardess. He was around there somewhere. Why don't you zoom in properly? The new dungeon store, in other words, the headstone. Oh, that's a filthy ass dungeon, though, isn't it? Yeah. 
Uh, I think I saw a rat somewhere, whatever. Okay. Select the minion. Uh, okay. Minions have an origin human, a professional cook, a, a rank 8 and a salary of $20. Rank 1 minions, the intern, come at no cost. As for the prestige requirement, we'll cover it later. A minion gains experience by working their way up the ranks. The higher the rank, the more effective, uh, more effective they are, the less often they fail to accomplish the task. Yeah, my friends. In the land of Fang, the unit of time is the 10-day week. The circle gradually fills up over time. Every 10-day week, all minions receive their salary. It's the orange number. Okay? Yep. Minions die when they run out of health and reassign when their moral hits rock bottom. Each minion has a specific needs. If these needs aren't meant, health and morale meter will decline. I ate well, I'm in good shape. Okay. What's up? Uh, it's not, it's not, it's not. It's a convenient way to make some money, but I'm not very good at managing it. I see. Well, it could prove to be useful. Okay. So, finish your little tour? You must be in awe of the grandeur of this place. Uh, yes, I well, this dungeon is rather unique, that's for sure. But, say, uh, how often do you come by the staff area? Never. I'm a warlock, not a stable boy. All right, that's enough talk. I mean, it makes sense, right? Return of stuff with such run-down premises, master. I have no money to spend on a luxury lounge for my lazy servants. Oh, but it's a matter of standards. Take the Temple of Wismo, for example. They have 18 toilets just for the servants. What? Those frauds. Uh, do what you must, but don't go overboard. We're not running a hotel. Let's see. We won't get anywhere without bathrooms, for starters. Chamber pots and manure heaps are so last century. I mean, it makes sense, right? Who the fuck wants to take a shit in a bucket? Jesus! It's still going down, brah. Oh. Build a shower room. Build a shower room. Also, two latrines, so you need to make it a little bigger than 4x2. Ah, there you go. It goes in the green when you're reaching the perfect point. Okay, yeah, sure, go for it. The room must be reachable to a valley. Try adding a door, that's the door. Select the latrines. That looks nice, that looks nice. Zoom in, what the fuck does that look like? Uh, it's one of those old poopy storage things. Place it, place some beautiful latrines. Validate and pay in order to construction, okay. It's kind of a big situation. Type can be stopped, speed up the construction room. How about you actually place some good shit there, I don't like what they did there. Oh, look how beautiful they're building, I like that. Can you edit it now, fast? Nice, 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 okay. Now let's put some... Uh, what's that next to the latrine? Like down niche on the right. Ah. I think you should put a candle there. Looks nice. Yeah. Sure. Ah, doesn't matter, just put it somewhere. Come on, place it. Got this. You need... You need to... Yeah. No? Nope, ah, okay, okay, okay. Oh, it's not done building, bro. No! I mean, yes, probably, right? Yeah. Yeah, let's see and uh, let's make them work. Okay, so now it should work. Dormitory with bedrooms. Keep track of important events in the dungeon. Check it out for more information. Okay. Shut the fuck up. We're not napping. Super busy. Magical research. And <laughs> really such a dick. I love it. 
You should put a little slash on the side, bro. He, you're not gonna get paid. He's not gonna get paid. Okay? You know he's not gonna get paid, right? Yeah. Ah. And vampires! Oh, bed bugs included. Yeah. yeah, just put it next to it. I don't... Yeah, yeah, drag it from down there and see how much you need to make it. This is. Yeah, can you go a little bit smaller? Smaller, 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 smaller. smaller. Aha! I think that should be enough, right? I mean, I think the bathroom we did it too large. What do you think? Yeah. Uh, flip them bitches out. You can probably flip it with a normal. Yeah, like that. Uh, okay, and one more I'm guessing, right? I think put it just up there and just turn it around. Yeah, up, 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 up. Yeah, perfect. How many do you let us do? Jesus. I think that's enough, bro. I think just validate it. Oh, this time it actually let us uh, decide. Okay. Yeah. I'm curious to zoom in on the bed. I'm curious to see the horribleness. Oh. Oh, hell no. Hell no, bro. Improvements are complete. Mm. Not bad, but very expensive. We'll have to find some more money. If I'd wanted to go bankrupt, I'd have hired an interior designer. I hear you. But given the state of the dungeon, I'm not sure how we could defeat a party of adventurers, even beginners. If we're not up to snuff, it'll be your fault, entirely. But I just got here and, well, I do serve an evil wizard, not a charity. Poor dude is just getting his butthole fucked. Tavern to bring in some income. The old tavern keeper is gone. Yet another ungrateful coward. I'm not dealing with this anymore. I've got better things to do. I must focus on my magical research and developing my management skills. I can handle it. So, let's see. We need tables for customers, equipment for serving food and drinks. In the meantime, I shall subscribe to a few periodical publications about evil dungeon management. We need to get this up to date. I wonder if he knows what he is doing. Don't you overspend. We want to extort gold from the poor, not waste our money on furniture for drunkards. I mean, I'm going to say they're kind of both right on that point. I understand the wizard completely. You know what I mean? Each item the traveler has a maintenance cost that is automatically deducted at the beginning of every 10 day week, just like wages. The sum in orange includes salaries and tavern maintenance costs. So it's 36. Ah, we're good. The number of customers depends on the size of the tavern and the number of seats. Okay. Select the editing tool and add items to the tavern. So we need to put modify the tavern to accommodate six additional customers. So that means a fucking table, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's good. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. No, that's yeah, that's enough. And try maybe put a candle. Just to light up the place, you know what I mean? Yeah, perfect. Ah, oh, it's beautiful, that's enough. Validate room. I see the cook is almost burning himself to death. I don't know if you see that or not. And have a barkeep as well. You should fast forward this shit. Let's zoom in on the table. Ah, oh, it comes pre-destroyed. Okay, yeah, makes sense. Makes sense, makes sense. This should be enough to lure in a few dupits. Okay. I have an evil dungeon star, not a lunch lady. Master, but we need some revenue. Look, all these customers should earn on some gold. Oh. Oh. Is that a customer? That looks like an adventurer, my friend. Full of blood in his pussy. Everybody enter the pussy. Yeah. Hey, what's with this dull looking goblin? Half goblin? Who is this brute? 
He is the Dungeon Swordmaster and Guard Commander. So, are you back from the retaliatory raid? Affirmative. We made it to target location, the so-called Temple of Wismo. Enemy ambush fighting. 100% loss rate on our side. Debrief over. What? You turkeys! I was injured six times myself. We were expected. I am the Guard Commander, not a Marauder. This requires specific operational preparation. Clearly. This doesn't speak highly about your abilities. Who asked you, you withered piece of lettuce? Silence, you two! Revax is our new steward. As for you, Orloff, maybe I should get a new swordmaster. Certainly, sir. But I'll complain to the Guild of Mercenaries and Dungeon Guards. This wasn't in my job description. First, be the bowels of the Great Talifer. I'm so sick of these Union demands. Beat it, both of you! I'm going back to my research. Hmm. I think we'd better try to collaborate. In our mutual interest, sword master. Yeah. Affirmative. For now, you little... I mean, yes, steward. He can suck my big ass dick. This failed raid explains why this dungeon is so badly guarded. Anyone can just waltz in. If we want to get rid of adventurers, we should deal with slackers first. Affirmative. The downsizing caused by the incursion attempt on the Temple of Wismal is weighing on staff rotation. We must recruit new elite guards. Guards are expensive. I read Dungeons and Desmonds that support roles should be outsourced as part of a... atomized management of the company's processes. Don't you mean optimized, Master? Silence! You know nothing of modern dungeon management vocabulary. As for you, improve the guard, but with no superfluous expenses. We could hire a few interns. They shouldn't cost us much. We'd just have to think about feeding them from time to time. Affirmative. That's it for now. I'll bring them up to speed. Trust me on that. Attention! At ease. Place it near the dungeon entrance. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense, makes sense. I like this. I really like this. It's it's an interesting concept. I, I quite enjoy it. And we also have a chick. Is that a chicken? What the fuck is that? What happens if you click on it? Can you slap his ass? Oh my god, we can murder. Oh, that's definitely murder in prison. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, let's place the dungeon right next to the PEP. Place for local... Okay, let's build it. It needs to be placed in next to the dungeon entrance, but I don't think you can place it right in the... blocking it, right? It would be stupid to block it, right? I, I don't know, I'm just asking. Can you destroy the stupid pillars? You have a giant uh, delete sign right there, can you? Can you do that? Yeah, perfect. Destroy that shit. And destroy it. Can you? So you cannot? I think that? Does this shit work? Nope, it cannot, okay. Just place it literally in the middle between all those columns, I think, right? Huh? I just place it in the middle next to the columns. So I need to build like in the middle. Okay. In the middle. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, you definitely need more, bro. Yeah, I think that's the correct one. Let's see. Go on the right as well. Go, 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 go. Perfect. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's see. That's another door. Right. You need another door? Okay, perfect. Leave one space between, just... Or not. And one more. Put it wherever the fuck you want. Uh-huh. And put... And then put a candle. I have problems with the candles. I don't know why. Looks nice. I like candles. Right? Perfect. Validate that bitch. And speed forward that bitch. 
I like that they changing they change even the flooring depending on the depending on the room we're building they're changing the flooring as well which I which I appreciate just so you know I'm guessing we're gonna get attacked right this like kind of looks like it right each locker automatically puts one or more guards they go about their business until the alarm goes off when it does they automatically go into battle okay Beware, each locker increases the population of the dungeon. Okay. The number of guards in the dungeon is always displayed. Yeah, I can see it's increased 5 out of 30. Soldier attention line. Oh, look, they're right there. Oh, shit, they're actually lining up. Survive the... Oh, shit, look, look at the... No, look at the entrance. Oh, oh, is that... Is that... Kant? Or... Sur oh, oh, shit, it's happening. Shit is happening! Oh, we have quite. Oh, shit! Yeah, those were. Makes sense. Blind opinion to think it's too busy. Come on, on the double rook is up, top, top, top. It actually makes sense, right? Training to blind opinions. I mean, he's not wrong. Um, I think he's tall. He oh, he was on strike. We should, uh, yeah, I think we're gonna kill him. Yeah, that's nice. Relax! Why are my minions so agitated? I can't focus in such a rocket. One of the servants is on strike, Master. He's protesting against his working conditions. I could send the guards to slaughter this slacker. Civilians are so entitled. I am not sure that's the best approach for retaining competent staff, Master. We must listen to his demands and fulfill them, if they're legitimate. I don't care about the specifics. I just need this rocket silenced. Deal with it, or you'll get the whip. Incidentally, there's an article in Dungeons and Despots about the psychological torture of middle management minions. <laughs> oh, select the minion on strike. At the beginning of the day, strike can break out in the dungeon with potential disastrous consequences, okay? Strike that has the effect of stressing Zandar and decreasing the dungeon's reputation. The display meter indicates the time remaining before the minion abandons the strike. If this happens, the moral is severely reduced. Okay. The strike only always display their demands. Meet their demands to end the strike. Can we murder them though? I'm not I'm not doing that. You know what? Forget it. Their demands are untainable for now. Just get rid of this ingrate by firing them. However, firing them didn't cost gold. The amount depends on the rank. I just fire that bitch. Yeah. Get the fuck out of here. And say thank you. I didn't fucking stab you. And I think it was the cook. With the striker. It'll make an example of him. Still, I should try to make sure it doesn't happen again. I'm not gonna make anybody. It's done, master. Everything is back to normal. The strike is over. About time. Let's move on. I've just been informed that the Temple of Wismo has increased its reputation. While we've been sitting on our haunches, whistling nursery rhymes. <laughs> what the fuck do you want me to do, bitch? We should limit the risk of strikes. The dungeon won't be able to repel adventurers with disgruntled minions. Affirmative. To smash those little snoopers, you need motivated, and therefore well-fed, guards. These matters are unworthy of a high-level wizard. They're better suited for interns. Of course, Master. Hmm, I'll see what I can come up with, but we'll need a cook. As long as they're not too expensive and can cook sumptuous meals. Bear and beer stew, for example. It's also necessary to adapt the food to each species. If we serve elfish fare to goblins, they'll start eating the elves, too. Excuse me? Okay. Place a desk of inhuman resource. <laughs> that sounded nice, babes. Okay, build the river of the office. We'll just build it and we should see where. The middle of all dungeons, the central cog that keeps them going, their apartment reflects their existence, essential and of neglect. Oh, yo, look, Fox Mulder, this dungeon is so cool. 
Yeah, I shall put it next to the cunt, right? Just go a little... Yeah, that's enough. It seems it just needs a table, you know what I mean? Huh? That should be good. Yeah, perfect. Perfect, perfect. Put a candle in there. I'm more than exhibit, like, you know what this bitch needs? Some TVs. I'm like, just put a candle in that bitch. Okay, let's do this shit. And we're gonna validate his existence. And we're gonna... Oh, we're already in fast forward, that's bad. What the fuck does that bitch want? The guards were like, where's my money? And I was like, fuck you. <laughs> I'm all clean. I don't know why the fuck are you all clean, we don't have a shower here. <laughs> to review the profiles of potential recruits, click on the job tab, then on recruitment. Okay. Oregon Ash, select the orc cook to review the resume. Okay. He says he got hired at the couching station north of Lake Zlub. He also says that horses are cute and delicious. Orcish trade, messy and carnivorous. Oh yeah. And he's running straight. That doesn't look like an orc, does it? Yeah, that's definitely not an orc by the looks of it. Oh shit! Who the fuck is that? That's definitely not an orc. Did he lie on his resume? Is it a human? I heard you're looking for a cook? Well, yes, but I just hired one. An orc cook. It's the best I could afford. Are you qualified? I sure am. I've been a cook, a barber, adventurer, surgeon, executioner, and embalmer. I can peel and bone like nobody's business. Mel Boots, here to serve you, with a preference for ale. Anyway, do you have someone for your tavern? Well, actually, we don't. It is true we could use a good tavern keeper, but my budget's a bit tight. I'll skim my pay off the take. Come on. You won't regret it. I'll turn it into a first-class boozing den. All of Fang will come here to get hammered. Just gotta keep the dishes real salty. Gotcha. Relocating towards the bar. March up to, up to. Select the Norg minion to view his information. Oh. The Norg min yeah, Zoom in. Is that a Norg minion? Yep, that's definitely an Norg minion, right? Orcs like meat! Help, I smell like an elf. <laughs> Excuse me, what? Unique traits. The means origin determines the special traits and behavior. Orcs, for example, are carnivorous, which means your kitchen must produce meat dishes. No, eh? <clears throat> Place one carving board in the kitchen. So we need to edit the kitchen. So click on the kitchen and... Uh, yeah, perfect. And uh, stove, he already has a stove. Yeah, I think that one. I just put it next to it, right? Can you, can you, uh, perfect, right? Yeah. Oh, you know me so well. <laughs> okay. You should fast forward that shit. Okay, let's zoom in on the... Your minions have to eat standing up in the kitchen, which reduces their morale. You can build a canteen to allow them to eat sitting down, thus boosting their morale. Okay. You have significantly improved the minions' living conditions. And for cheap, too. And we'll serve them good. Cheap plunk, hard ale, and sausage that'll dry out your gullet. What? Who is this individual? It's... Um, Mel, the new tavern keeper. I'll explain. My patience is running thin. We spend too much on nonsense here, and our reputation is stagnating. You can suck my dick. Hey, uh, no offense, but your dungeon's got quite a stench, don't you think? Reeks like a bunch of dead rats. What? No, it doesn't. We just cleaned the mess and fired the slackers. Just saying, but this morning I saw a cockroach so grossed out it puked. Mind you, I'm not the kind to wash the mugs every day or to take more than one bath a month, but hey, 
There are limits to filth. Hmm. It is true that to attract a certain class of customers or servants, we will need to raise our standards. Cleaning, improving sanitary facilities, and hiring decent domestics. Yep, exactly. Elves will do the trick. I know there are a bunch of lettuce munchers who think they're hot dung, but they don't mess around with cleanliness. Makes sense, I guess. Makes sense. I... Yeah, you can build a canteen, but I... Yeah. Uh, Canteen strategic place where minions come feed themselves. Beware the first sign of food shortage. The ogres might start eating your other minions. Say what the ogre will start eating, Maha? Yeah, not in front of there. Not there. I think you can place it next to it. Right? Yeah. Don't go too high, don't go too extreme. Uh, it's just a round table, right? So in theory, two round tables. I think one more. I think two more up, and it should be good, right? Yeah, that's good. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Uh. Yeah, it works. I don't care. <laughs> Hey, it works, okay? I don't know the placement yet. That's the problem, right? Yeah, hire that bitch. I worked as a waiter at an inn out west. It was rewarding except for the customer's terrible breath, especially for dwarves. 11 trained foopish, ingenious, vegetarian. Okay. Select a shower room to view its information. What? Room items produce dirt, so do minion when they move around. Yeah, makes sense. Depending on their original or traits, good or bad hygiene affects the morale of all minions. Okay. This button indicates the servant whether the room should be clean or regularly. Okay. Uh, I think you should go to the tavern to be clean regularly, to be honest, right? Yeah, definitely. Definitely. And the kitchen as well. And look, this kitchen is all these two stars. And I think the canteen as well. That I think the bedroom as well. Right? Yeah. Uh, that should be good enough. Place one shower in the shower room. I think he's hungry, the poor dude. Whatever. Okay, mm let's place a shower. Finally, just place it, I think, on the right down, and then we place two more toilets. Huh? What do you think? I was more debating like on the wall, but yeah, yeah, whatever it works. Okay. I think put three and just put one more bathroom as well. They do look like they need to take a shit, you know what I mean? And then put a candle in the ditch. Perfect. And we should validate it and we're gonna be broke soon. Right? Oh my god, he's taking a shit. Zoom in on the shitting taking place. Ah, uh, they're, st uh, they're actually taking a dump. Thank god they're not deciding to show us they're actually taking a dump. Even though I would have preferred that. Uh, look at the... A faucet. Oh my god, they don't know what a fucking shower is, bro. Place one vegetable bin in the basket. Uh, yeah, perfect. Oh, for the elf, because he's a vegetarian. Go on the chicken head and see what three things he wants us to do. Do you see the the chicken key? Yeah. yeah. Erk origins available. Cook job available. How about you click the cook job available? Yeah, just click on that. Click on that. Oh, those are like the information you had. Ah, okay, yeah, makes sense, makes sense. The Temple of Wismal had marble columns installed. I just saw the etchings in the Dungeons and Despots magazine. Oh, not again with that rag. We need to revamp my dungeon's decor. This is the 
essential aspect of the uh, prolificacy of this organization's processes. Productivity, Master? But you said we don't have the funds to... Just make some improvements, or I'll turn you into a flower pot. And stop contradicting my managerial guidelines, or you'll get your termination notice from Orlok's crossbow. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. I mean, I already knew that. So, to place 10 decorations. Uh, just scroll a little into the decoration. Let's see. Increase the prestige of the room. At least three. Just, I, I think place some um, soldiers. I think that's literally cheap and pretty good, right? Uh, perfect. Right there. Place two here, like one each entrance, right? Like one there and the perfect. And then up. I think place a fire shit here, I think. Right? Yeah. yeah. I know why it looks more like something like that, right? Uh, we need to place something in the chambers as well. I don't know how many you place, to be honest. You need to place it more down. Perfect. And fast forward and see how much validate the rooms and let's go. Did it manage or is just I think you forgot oh never mind talks. No, I was thinking maybe you need to value oh what the fuck is five. Put one in yeah, I think you need to put more. <coughs> put it on the hallway as well, fuck it, right? Yeah, put here in this room as well, just one more, yeah, yeah, put one more there and two there like you wanted to, that's genius, perfect. And put something in the kitchen, I don't know what. Or you already put something in the kitchen, I don't remember. Yeah, you put it, you put it. Uh, how about the columns, like, in front of the wizard's place? Yeah, right there, like, bam, bam, and that should be enough, validate and that should be enough. Right? Perfect. I didn't manage to see. Are they using the second table or? I'm definitely seeing the first table being used. Do you think we need to put another door in the other side? I think put another door in that side. Yeah, by the looks of it, put another door on that side. So they can access the other one, right? Yeah, perfect. That should be enough. Yep. Yeah, I saw them crying outside. You saw them, right? Mm -hmm. ah, look, look. Yeah, so they couldn't get past the first... Um... Okay. Yeah, makes sense, makes sense. Done, Master. We've installed some marble columns, braziers, and flower pots. Now, we... Ah, I'm quite pleased with my choice of decor. I shall write to the Dungeon Orders Association of Fang to share my creative insights. I hope this won't get us into trouble. It will probably get us into trouble. Yep. Hello, I'm looking for the master of the dungeon of Nahalbuk. Well, I am his steward. How may I help you? I'm here about the letter he sent to the Dungeon Owners Association of Fang. Are you going to publish his article on interior decoration? I don't know. This is a matter for the DOAF Gazette editorial board. I am Doris Martadella, Head Inspector of the Dungeons Fund. I'm here for your membership application. What? The DF? But uh, we didn't apply for membership. There must be some mistake. Your master wrote to the DOAF. According to DOAF regulations, any such communication is to be considered as a membership application to its parent company, the Dungeons Fund, unless expressly stated otherwise. But that's... Uh, oh, puss and boils! This is utter nonsense! What if we refuse to join? That is your right. In accordance with the DF regulations, as ratified through case law by all courts in the lands of Fang, we would be entitled to a compensation of 200,000 gold coins. 200... What? That's racketeering! It'd be easier to join the DF like most proper dungeons. 
I will have your master sign the documents. A measly 412 scrolls for a small dungeon like yours. Pox and mutant rats! Relax! In my office! Immediately! Ah, that's bullshit. You know what? Great game, great game. I cannot wait for it to be released. Thank you very much for watching and don't forget to give a like and suck some dick.